and Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at Interop Las Vegas 2011, day one at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center, and I'm standing across from Theo Gogoli from DisplayLink. Theo, thank you very much for coming on. You're welcome. Now, he's part of DisplayLink, and if you've watched our show for a while, you know that DisplayLink has been a part of Gadget for a long, long time. It's a technology that allows you to take any USB port and turn it into a high quality video output. In fact, we've got it here at the knock, right across from this booth, displaying all of the monitoring screens for Interop. Now, Theo, DisplayLink has really grown over the years. You've Absolutely. gone from a company that made a single chip and a single adapter to a company that is now in the products of so many other companies. What do you attribute that growth to? Mainly to the convenience and to, to providing a solution to the problem that so many people, people face. A lot of people now want notebooks because they want the portability, they want the small, small form factor, and because of the, the convenience. Right, but at the right. same time, they want to have bigger screens at home, they want to have multiple monitors at the office so they can be productive. Yeah. And we provide the solution to that. Exactly. Now chances are that you've used the DisplayLink chipset without even knowing about it. Uh, they come in these desktop adapters that allow you to plug it into your notebook and have all of your USB, your VGA, and any other devices that you might have uh, a need, need for immediately connected to your notebook. Uh, they come built into monitors, but today you've got a product here that has me particularly excited. Explain this to me. So this guy is a new product by Toshiba. Uh, it's actually their first monitor uh, product with us, and it's a fully bus-powered USB monitor. So this is a 14-inch, 1366 by 768 monitor, very similar to a monitor that's, that you'll see in a lot of notebooks. So it's the same aspect ratio, and a very small form factor, very light because it has no battery, it has no power supply, and very easy to use because it's USB. Now, I, I have to admit, I have been dreaming of something like this since I spend so much time on the road, I'm always missing that second or third monitor. What you're telling me now is that in a package that's what, two, two and a half pounds? Two and a half pounds. I can now travel with my laptop, with this, have my dual screen set up anywhere, and not have to worry about an extra adapter for power. Absolutely. All right. Now, this is not all you've got at the show. I understand that you're also bringing out your next generation of chipset. Tell me a little bit about that. So we've been working on our next generation chipset, which is based off of USB 3. USB 3, as you know, has been around with external chipsets uh, for about a year now, and just got in announced by Intel at IDF that they're now going to put it into their chipset, and if you're going to see it being pervasive probably next year. Um, so what we're doing is we're taking our technology, our tried and true USB 2 to graphics technology, moving that to USB 3, taking advantage of the bandwidth to provide more screens and higher resolution and better quality for the end user. Well, Theo, you've made my day with this. If they want to see it, of course, the best place to go is here. Interrupt. Absolutely. Yeah, in 2011. Just look for the knock, you'll see DisplayLink. But if they can't make it to the show, where should they go? They should go to DisplayLink.com. You'll see all the information you need about our technology. You'll see all the links back to our other partners and all of our customers and OEMs and all the different products that are available, as well as the latest driver to get the best performance out of your product. Thank you again very much. You're welcome. You stay tuned because we've got more from Interop 2011. I'm Father Robert, and there's no Uber Geek without you.